Hello, everyone. Mr. Schultz here for Integrated Math 1. We are talking about angles and congruence. Make sure that you put your first name and your last name, as well as your period number, in the top right-hand corner. So once again, we are dealing with angles and congruence. So we have some basic you know, definition and terms right here. For example, a ray has one endpoint and it goes forever in one direction. It's straight. This doesn't look like it, but you know, this is my ray right here. Now, an angle has a vertex and it has two sides. Well, saying that, this is my angle. But looking at this, Hey, what's my sides? Well, my sides are in yellow right here. These would be my sides. Those are my sides. Now, what about the vertex? The vertex is where they meet up. That is the vertex. So those are my brief explanations for you. So we need to understand, hey, what is a ray? So it has one endpoint and goes forever off in one direction. Now we have an angle. So an angle with two sides and connecting the sides is a vertex. Let's continue. Now we have these things called opposite rays. Now the opposite rays would be going in opposite directions. So for example, we have AB and AC. So ray AB says, hey look, I'm gonna have I'm gonna start A and go toward B. Now if I had ray AC, it's like hey, I'm gonna start at A and I'm gonna go toward C forever, never stopping. Well, there we go. Now these together make a straight angle. And a straight angle will equal 180 degrees. It, a straight angle is a straight line. Lines are straight. Let's go on. So interior angles. So if we, we, we don't really talk about these as much, but if we have something, like, like say this, we would say, hey, and if we're talking about angle, like let's say angle A, B, C, normally we'd be talking about the angle formed inside. Inside equals interior. Now, anything on the outside, so all the way around, anything not the inside would be the exterior angle. Well, let's continue. Now we're down to our final couple ones. We have congruent angles and angle bisectors. So if we had something that's like, let's say this is 40 degrees, and let's say this was 40 degrees, well, that would mean that they are congruent angles. That means that they are not the same, but they are equal in value. And we see this a lot when we have an angle Bisector. Let's say this is, you know, 80 degrees. Well, from here to here would be 40, and from here to here would be 40. If we have an angle bisector, it would bisect the angle in two. All right, guys, let's continue. So let's get into some angle congruence practice right now. So example one identify angles. So it says name the vertex of one. So looking at it, I'm like, all right, well, 
angle one right here would be from here, you know, going from here to here. So like this, and here's one. Well, what's this vertex right here? Well, it's A. Go ahead and you answer, what is the vertex of three? Meaning, what is the point of the two legs of angle three? Now the next one it says, it says, hey, name the sides of angle four. Well, angle four, you know, it might have a vertex of C, but the sides are CA, and what's the other side? CD. Now, we could probably say it's DC and AC, but if the vertex is C, we'd probably want to be like, hey, C to A and C to D. But that's just my opinion. All right, it says, hey, what's another name of angle two? Well, another way of saying it is using the, you know, vertexes here. So I could say, hey, instead of angle two, I would say angle A, D, E. So I'd say angle A, and what's the vertex? D, and what's the other leg? E. And there we go. I have my name for angle two. All right, so make sure that you are answering the other bullet points. And let's go on. Now it says, what's another name for CAD? Well, looking at CAD, CAD, the A is the vertex, and that's where the one is. So that's angle one. So the final question is, hey, what's another name for angle CDA? So instead of leg, vertex, leg, you're going to figure out, hey, what's another way of saying it? I mean, technically, another name for angle one would be angle DAC if we flip it around. But don't be tricky like that. Answer that one correctly. So let's go on to angle... Example two, congruent angles and angle bisectors. In the figure LF, ray LF and ray LK are opposite rays. Okay, so that means they make straight angles. LG bisects FLH. All right, cool, cool. So LG, so that I know that this, these two are congruent angles because there's an angle bisector. If angle M... If, oh, if the measure of angle, oh, so, so M. So this means the measure of angle FLG is equal to 14X plus 5. And the measure, so FLG. So this is equal to 14X plus 5. And HLG, okay, so this is equal to 17X minus 1. Find F L H. All right. Well, what this is asking us to do is it's asking us to say, hey, these are equal to each other because this is the angle bisector. So I could say, hey, this is 14x plus 5 is equal to 17x minus 1. So what this is really asking us to do is, hey, solve for x. And then once we find x, understand that we're looking for them, the two angles put together. So let's do it. So we understand this is the angle bisector. So after we say that they're equal to each other, we're going to get x by itself by doing the subtraction property of equality. Remember in module 12, we're going to be doing two column proofs and we need to justify our answers. So after we simplify, we get 3x minus 1 is equal to 5. And if we add 1 to both sides using the addition property of equality, we get 6 is equal to 3x. Now, maybe we were able to do it in our heads and do the division property of equality on both sides. We understand that, hey, x is equal to 2. Great job. But it's asking, hey, what is FLH equal to. So I know I can figure out this 
if x equals 2, what is this? And if x equals 2, what is this? And add them together. Or I could just find one of them. I'm going to times 2 to 14 and then add 5. And then I know I'm going to multiply by 2. So doing that, I know I would get 28 plus 5 times 2. And 28 plus 5 is not 35, but 33 times 2, which is 66. So 66 degrees is equal to the measure of angle FLH. There we go. Now what I want you to do is I want you to answer the rest of these questions and try your best, making sure to, you know, figure out what is the relationship. Hey, if it's an angle bisector, meaning that they're equal to each other. Hey, what if we know that they are equal to 180 degrees? That sort of thing. Finally, at this last part right here, I want you to do a 10-second doodle challenge. So if you want, we can start it right now. We're going to start it in 3, 2, 1. Go. All right, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow in class. Bye.